Today we celebrate the 18th Sunday of Ordinary Time. The theme of today, of the readings of today, is that set your mind upon things that are above, where Christ is. Our first reading in the book of Ecclesiastes speaks. The preacher is trying to tell us that everything is vanity. He is trying to tell us that whatever we have in life and what we get, it's like it's nothing without God. In a way, he's trying to tell us that we acquire things, we get wealth, and we get a lot of things, but if those things, they don't have God in them, they are nothing. In a way, in the reading, he says that when you get things, you have those things for that world, but when you die, you leave all those things, and you will not go with them. So he's trying to tell us that whatever we do and whatever we want to get, we must have God in it, so that when we give, we will live with God, because all other things, they will live this world, but if we have the faith of God, we'll go with God. So the material things which we have, they will just be here on earth, and we're going to live them here. We're not going to go with them. Normally, we have that people who say that uh, they have businesses. When they have businesses, normally when they die, they give their business to their children or to other people. And those people, they don't really take care of those things as the way they're supposed to take care of them. So the preacher is trying to tell us that we sometimes put effort on things that we need and on businesses or in money in all the world, but when we die, it's just like it's nothing because the people we live it for them, they don't really take care of those things. So we must put our focus oh, to God more than the material things. There's a psalm that says, that says uh, for when a man dies, he takes nothing with him. Their wealth does not follow them into the grave. So what does the psalm really say to us? It's trying to tell us what the preacher is talking about. That whatever we get in this life, we don't really go with it. It leaves us here. But only one thing that we can go with, it's the faith of God. So if we have faith in God, we will live with God. So all these material things, they won't go with us. So most Christians nowadays, they are more attracted to the things of the world, but which is not good. As in the second reading, St. Paul is trying to tell us that we must be focused on things of above, things of God. All these material things, all these things from this world, they are not that important to us, but it is God who is more important in our life. So we must put our focus on God, not on all these things of this world. And even in the gospel, it almost says, or it has the same theme as these readings. Because the gospel, the gospel, it talks about the rich fool. The rich fool, it can be someone who is like us, who has got everything that God has blessed with him. But he ends up, he ends up wanting to help himself and not think about other people and not think about God. Because this rich fool, what he wanted, it was just for himself so that he can enjoy life. But he doesn't think about God. So maybe what we can learn from it is that we must not devote ourselves in material things just like this rich fool. Because the rich fool, what he was wanting, only thinking about it was his material things, his world. He wanted to have more and more. That's what the only thing he was focused on. So if we like that rich fool, we end up wanting material things more and we forget about God. When you want more things of this world, you end up even hating people or making other people not feel comfortable because you want more. We know a lot of people who are rich in this world who don't care about other people. 
they just care about themselves, they just care about their world, because that's what the main thing is in their life. But the really today, they don't want us to be like those people, but they want us to care about God. Another thing maybe we can think about is what are those things in our lives that we feel like we love them a lot more than God, that makes us to be not in a good relationship with God? What are those things, those material things that makes us be in love with those things more than God? So maybe in this mess, we must pray and ask the Lord to help us to purify ourselves from those things that are making us to be not in one relationship with God, that are stopping us to be one with God. Because God, when He blesses us with things, He doesn't bless us just for us, but He just blesses us so that we can love others. But if we get whatever we get and then we think it's about us, we are missing the point and that's when we miss the idea of God in our life because of we think about those things as it's only for us only, but not for other people. So today we must pray to God in this mess to help us that we be able to overcome those things, those material things that we love more than God, so that we will become closer to God.